Anomaly Number SCP-6133 Anomaly Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures The Beep Limited Shipyard has been purchased and condemned by a Foundation Front Company. The property is patrolled by plainclothes security agents. A boy line has been installed along the seaside perimeter to prevent any vessels from attempting to dock in the area. Each boy has a sonar and camera system implanted on its exterior. The entryway to SCP-6133 has been locked, and the window has been fitted with a blackened privacy film. Description SCP-6133 is a wooden watchtower, painted grey and possessing a single lantern hanging off its railing. It is located directly beside the shipyard's boardwalk. The building has a door facing the boardwalk and a large window facing the ocean. Beside the door is a placard which reads SCP Foundation Department of Abnormalities. The placard is severely damaged from wind erosion. Upon entering SCP-6133 and closing the door, the view from the window will instantaneously change. Personnel looking out the window report that it has become a foggy night, and the boardwalk is derelict. After an inconsistent amount of time, SCP-6133-1 instances manifest. SCP-6133-1 instances are various nautical vessels. Most SCP-6133-1 instances will emerge from the fog, pulling beside the boardwalk, and then depart after a brief period of rest. A list of recurring instances is included below. SCP-6133-A A Jacobian-era tall ship in perfect condition. Notably, SCP-6133-A is much further away than other SCP-6133-1 instances and never approaches the boardwalk, instead gradually sinking into the water. SCP-6133-B A Spanish galleon with notable burn damage across the entire exterior. Its sails are similarly burnt. Personnel who witnessed SCP-6133-B's manifestation reported the sounds of crunching and twinkling before silence. SCP-6133-C, a privateering ship with holes and splinters throughout its exterior. It is presumed to be battle damage. An entity designated SCP-6133-C-1 sometimes peek over the front of the ship. SCP-6133-C-1 resembles an older woman with a fractured eye socket and broken cheekbones. SCP-6133-C-1 has made no attempt to communicate with attending personnel. SCP-6133-D, a B-class boat of the British Royal Navy, covered in what appears to be human blood. SCP-6133-D has difficulty changing direction and stopping due to damage around its keel. It will likely crash into the dock before being carried away by the movement of the tide. SCP-6133-E A biomechanical structure resembling a whaling ship. Its exterior is composed of a mixture of highly oxidized metal and decomposing whale skin. Its hull has been replaced with a humpback whale mouth. During its initial manifestation, SCP-6133-E makes a sound similar to a whale call before stopping beside the boardwalk. The ship opens and closes its mouth, loads its foghorn again, then departs. SCP-6133-F A large mass of organs, skin, and teeth arranged in the shape of a cargo ship. SCP-6133-F does not emerge from the park like the other SCP-6133-1 instances, instead manifesting when personnel are not paying attention to or looking away from the window. Personnel report SCP-6133-F screams through a large mouth-like orifice in its hall until it disappears.
typically after personnel close their eyes or otherwise obscure their vision. Attempts at producing audio or video recordings of SCP-6133-F have failed. It is presently uncertain how SCP-6133's anomalous property operates. No spectral phenomena, medic contingent, or special temporal aberrations have been documented within the watchtower or in the area surrounding it. Incident report Shortly after SCP-6133's containment procedures were put into effect, a fishing trawler approached the boardwalk and anchored in front of SCP-6133. After informing site command of its appearance, the security team was cleared to board the vessel. The inside of the trawler was in a significant worse state than its exterior, being severely oxidized and lacking any charting systems. No individuals were present on board, but writing in the dust of the front window was discovered. We passed in the night. We were happy. When the team exited the ship and stepped into the boardwalk, it was quickly noted the boat had vanished. The team report they did not hear it depart or see it leaving the shipyard. The containment procedures have been amended.